Greetings, fellow patricians and plebeians. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion. Episode 40, Helpful Caravan. So the caravan to Calicia expires in about 22 hours, and I'm going to accept it with, like, almost no time to spare so that we can get ahead of the trouble where we need to make. You know what? I'm actually going to accept it now, and I'll just have to crack the whip. So we have 13 days... And some of that requires travel time. Calissi is only about a, a day away. But that means Elba needs to really get working. Um, cause we are on schedule. Zephy, thank you for the reset. Welcome, welcome. So for Elba, Taylor is going to be a one. You guys want me to continue the guest quarters? All right. I just wanted to make sure because it is taking a long time. It's a lot of granite. But with uh, additional, our population has been growing. So with additional population and more slaves doing the stone cutting and all that, uh, we're making pretty good progress. Unfortunately, one of my cooks just got sick. That's going to hurt in terms of um, cook speed. We're running out of easy things to hunt, so I'll probably end up hunting the thrumbo just out of the necessity for the meat. But I'm going to wait until we use up what, what is already in the uh, kitchen. Oh, of course, Elba, the one that needs to be healthy, just got ill, too. Of course. Well, we'll try to supply the tri tribal air, but it might be a little rough. I can't click today. Oh my goodness. Was my coffee laced with decaf? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, only 30 tribal where to go as he's like vomiting on the tailor bench. Pottery's done. We'll do artful, actually, yeah, artful displays before statues. And I have some of the furniture uh, queued up to be built. Which will eventually be guest furniture. So it does look like veg is in great decline. I'm going to expand the corn. Um, I think we have lots of booze. Yeah, we have lots of tea and lots of booze. So I'm going to shrink hops and psychoid even more. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we, we catch back up. I mean, if we have to, we can always rely on cheese, milk, eggs, other things. We have other sources of food. Uh, there's plenty to hunt, so that's not a big, big deal. Speaking of hunting, I did want to do a group hunt, but I got to be careful about who I choose because we have food poisoning running rampant in the community. So, only the... You know what? I'm not going to hunt right now. Four shooters isn't really a, uh, adequate enough to easily take down a, uh, a thrombo. I'd rather have six. And uh, we don't have six.
They never said the travel wear had to be clean. Well, this bill here is any travel wear. I guess I could include tattered, but even included tattered, it doesn't really change the quantity. So yeah, even including what we, the, the travel wear that is already worn, it doesn't help our case at all. It's a good thought, though. So I'm not going to set these up for guests just yet. And the reason being, I don't... Well, actually, I could, but, like, I'm not going to be accepting guests at the moment. Uh, so we're not allowing new guests because I don't have a place for them to eat. I don't have a place for them to go to the bathroom. Uh, these are things that need to be done prior to having guests hosted, as you might imagine. Oh my goodness. Drugs, drugs, drugs. It will be interesting to see you know, like kind of a vibrant community of shopping and hosting and entertaining and waiting and all that once they're here. And thanks to the efforts of stone quarrying, we are definitely getting the granite together. Hmm. Elba almost has a third of the uh, treble we're done. It's not bad. A lot of the delay there was just uh, a backlog of um, other clothing to manufacture. Which is why it took so long to start making progress. When guests come, will we need more slaves to make sure they're taken care of? So, maybe. I do have a bunch of slaves that could be used in that matter. So, um, Tokus is chief among them. Tokus being able to do social, I guess. Could, uh, could wait on the guests. But most of the guests are just going to be waited on. Uh, making sure that we have enough food production will be a thing. But I, I was thinking, once we get out to Calicia... Oh, they haven't restocked. Never mind. These The two closest towns are probably going to need to restock before we go and bother to see what new slaves they have. Because we've already checked them. The other towns, we, we could go up to Londinium or uh, Lovavum or Garunda, something like some somewhere a little bit further out to see if there's slaves elsewhere. But it kind of takes a while for to make that round trip, so I, I would want to wait until um, it was absolutely necessary. Who knows? It might be possible that uh, a slave caravan comes in and, and visits us and we exchange goods for people without having to leave. Entirely plausible. I don't see grills available. Um, they're ruined. So, uh, we're out of meat there. Are you... Okay, our shooters are recovered. That might be an indicator that we need to increase the amount of... Okay. I was going to say, that might be an indicator that we need to increase the amount of slaves waiting on the... Um... Uh, waiting on the senators. The other thing I think that I'm going to need to do is to move this shelf of grill down um, down here somewhere because it's getting ruined in the cold temperature here. So have it like waiting to be picked up around here would make more sense. So I'm going to move. I'm going to do that. So, the Western Villa Slaves... 
are going to have slightly different um, zoning now. And then when we make gourmet grills, take them to... Do, okay, yeah, it's all set up. So that should prevent the grills from being spoiled. See if we can't kill one or two bison before the tortoises come. Good. A uh, Lilipore, come grab this bison. The slave barracks might need a radiator now that it's getting cold. Maxis, you don't move very fast, but you're at least faster than a tortoise. So come join us down here. For a second, I looked like Lil Poor was dropping the corpse off there, which was, uh... I was gonna question that. But that wasn't the case. Tortoise is just so hard to hit. I wouldn't mind Lynx's, Randy, if you want to send Lynx at me. Because it gives panther fur, which is really nice fur to have. Well, we're almost done with this. Let's see. I'm going to put Bo in here. Stay out. There. Now we just need to finish this up. And here is the gourmet meals. Uh, Doris, can you move the shelves? So if you're wondering, uh, just to, to further reiterate, Grilled meals need to stay warm or they get ruined. So the problem was the grills to be hauled were being kept in the freezer and that as a result ruins them early. So instead I'm putting them over here in a warm room so that they don't get ruined. It does mean that the chef needs to walk a bit further to place them where they need to go. But the net result should be um, far fewer ruined meals. Now, realistically, I should probably separate out the grilled meals from the desserts because the desserts want to be cold or the grilled meals want to be warm. But, like, whatever. We can go into those fine details later. I don't really care about that right now. I just want to make sure that the senators have food. And they're not starving right now, so they, that it's working. Oh! 
I did not realize Tokus was of the wrong ideology. Well, uh, that uh, changes things. That's my mistake. Uh, once Doris is outside of uh, wolf form, Tokus, you are under arrest for sharing your uh, your incorrect ideology and we will try to convert you ASAP. Enjoy the clink! Yeah, totally did not notice. So yeah, here's the temperature map. The villa's fine. Um, the slave quarters are cold, but like, they're slaves, whatever. Barns are fine. Bedrooms are fine. Yeah. There's no real issues going on. Yeah, I totally I totally missed that. I did not notice that uh, Tokus was uh, incorrectly preaching his nonsense. Have I actually set him to be converted? Not yet. My plan was to have a conversion ritual to see if we can do it in one fell swoop. But, you know, I can convert other way, the, uh, the old-fashioned way. And then to re-enslave. Still has a little bit of will. Oh, you think you're willful. You aren't. Oh, poor guinea pig. Just got limed. <laughs> At least you didn't feel it. <laughs> crushed your heart. Oh, imagine being... Have your heart crushed by a meteorite. Oof. You wouldn't know it. Happened too fast. Alright. There's definitely a supply of grilled foods. And they aren't getting ruined. That's good. And now that Darius is in human form, we will try a conversion ritual. Um, I'm going to say Quere and Davis probably don't need to be in attendance. And then Lilipore, Delpierre, Dolores, Bowen, you don't need to show up either. I, uh, Gavros, you're going to be required just because I want to hit the 10 out of 10 participants. Conversion ritual wouldn't interest... You know, the, the the dealings and matterings of a slave is way below the station of a senator. They don't need to be involved. Unless they want to be. Unless it was like their secret lover or something like that. They would definitely not be slated to attend things like that. Vulcanalia, Saturnalia, Lupercalia. Yeah, that's different. But, uh... But a conversion ritual? Yeah, not so much. Executions? Sure, but it's just because they like bloodshed. Ooh, a slaver! A slaver just showed up. Nice! Please have a chef. Pretty, 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 please. Uh, so it was an effective conversion ritual. Uh, that means that we've made some progress at the very least. And where are you? So, yeah, you're down, I don't know, 20%. I did turn off the sound of the rituals. I didn't like them. So I nixed it. Agrippina. Let's do some trade. All ritual sounds are annoying, to be honest. I don't disagree. So let's take a look. Mirks, a tough pyromaniac? I don't want a pyromaniac. Uh, Walrus. You are 68 years old, so just no. Uh, green? A nimble wimp who will plant with only a leg scar? Potentially. Slave material. I'll have you guys decide. Maximus, a 
constructor, planter, miner, a psychopath who's also incapable of violence, also a contender. Uh, Charles Z. Drugman. <laughs> what? Uh, they suck. I mean, peg leg. Yeah, no, you're, I mean, high social, high medical, but like being peg leg means they can't really do very much as a slave. They don't move fast enough. Uh, and then Jenny. Abrasive? Nope, nope. She had me at abrasive. So the only ones that I would potentially want to recruit would be Green and Maximus. Do you agree with this trade? Yes or no? If no, um, I can look for feedback about who or what to change. So again, green, uh, a nimble wimp with a leg scar, but could help 10 plants. And then Maximus, another planter who can also potentially mine I didn't see a cook in this grouping. Jenny literally can't cook. Charles E literally can't cook. Um, Walrus is old as hell and literally cannot cook. And then Myox um, has a cooking of three, but is a pyromaniac impid, so it's probably just gonna set fires to things. All right, you guys say yes. Cool. I'm glad that my assessment and your assessment are one and the same. Uh, let's accept that. And then, uh, we are obviously going to have a raffle, so I'll turn the raffle timer on. But we're going to decide the fate of these people, whether they remain as colonists or they become slaves. So, Maximus, you were the first. You are a psychopath, incapable of violence, and intellectual. Construction, mining, plants. What to do with Maximus? I'm going to call them Maxi. Because... For now. And then after that, we'll be green. All right. But seeing the way it's going, almost unanimously enslaved, uh, you are going to be given slave clothing, low meals, and let's move here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put the senators like way up top. That's going to be easier for me. Oh, Vicus had the wrong meals. Whoopsie. All right, so slave, low meals, no drugs, and then no villa access. And green is going to need to be arrested. I see green believes in something stupid. So um, we don't have to vote on green just yet because green's going to go into the clink. So Doris, let's go do that. Green, don't make me run. I'm going to call this. So, uh, we are enslaving Maxi as well. Well, there goes my travelware. So, Maxi, you are also going into the clink so that we can enslave you. Will of zero. Um, so, that should be really easy to do. And then green, you need to be converted. And your belief is pretty strong, but you're wimpy, so you'll convert fast. Okay, uh, how should we treat green? Some of the options uh, don't really make all that much sense, like prisoner for sale, because I just bought him. But I'll leave it up there. So here he is, wimp, nimble, uh, crafting, plants, medical, intellect. They're both baseliners. Uh, he has a leg scar. She has a clean bill of health. It looks like two slaves. I, I sort of figured. But I wanted to ask. But yeah, slave caravan. There you go. I fixed it. We weren't having 
the we weren't having the option to buy slaves at markets and we weren't having slave caravans arrive and I did some tinkering on the back end and got everything working again. So that's good. Well, screw that heel root in particular. <laughs> Lightning struck it and only it. That's funny. Okay, slave it is. So we have a raffle timer for both those prisoners, and good luck to you all. Maxis, um, you, you, you could probably dismiss them. One of the advantages of having a gate guard. Uh, you know, Maxis, you probably don't need to be in the rain. We could put a roof over your head. I mean, you have a shade cone, but I don't think it's a rain cone. So, we'll fix that. How close are we to fulfilling the treble? 18 out of 33? Okay, we're on track. A relationship. Uh, Maxi. Uh... We just enslaved your, uh, your niece. I hope you don't mind. Just, uh, yeah. You're just like a herder, though. It's not like you have sway. I hope. Nice. The, uh, the quantity of uh, granite blocks is looking pretty good. We're going to be able to make some pretty good uh, progress. Maxi's already been slaved, so the first raffle is going to go out to Maxi. Maxi, you are now owned by Daydora. And then green is going to Nabla. Maxi, before I forget, um, no hair. He gots to be bald. Is the reason. If I'm sure I'm gonna forget, because it's, I don't typically shave people in my, uh, so yeah, if you see me forgetting, just be like, hey, hey, bald slaves. They also need their clothing dyed, but I'm, I'm gonna wait until, um, they all get their new sets of clothing and all that, because at the moment, uh... At the moment, they're going to be swapping out of clothing anyway. Constantly. Darius, this is probably a bad use of your work drive. Let Sipia do that. Oh, don't leave. Well, I guess that's already tattered. So you can start to see the buildings take form, which is good. Let's go ahead and put in some hygiene. I think I'm going to do iron bathtubs. Two bathtubs and then like three toilets and some sink basins. Or maybe two toilets and a sink basin. Yeah, sink basin in the middle. Uh, not a steel one though. Do iron. And then two iron latrines. Make sure it's all plumbed. So plumbing will come down like that. Uh, we are also going to want plumbing for heating reasons. So I'm going to have the plumbing go all the way around the buildings. Oh, I just realized their heater isn't even plumbed either. Neither is this one, but that's queued up to be. But it's not that cold yet, so I'm not too concerned. So your grills are there. Good, good. And they're spare. Okay. 
So for now, it looks like uh, it looks like Foen is able to keep up with the requirements of uh, of the job. We'll have to keep an eye on that to make sure to make sure that that remains true. Because I, I don't want those senators waiting on anything. They should never have to wait. And we are 13 Travel War away from being done. So, Elba. We have eight days to fulfill this, and I'm going to do a little bit of micromanagement to make sure that Elba gets that done in time. And of course, he goes straight to the saunas. I'm definitely feeling the absence, abs, wow, words, the absent, absence of um, Canius. With the, uh, quite frankly, the lack of progress for um, construction. So Maxi is a pretty good constructor. So I'm going to have her help me in the guest district to build. Del Pierre, I don't trust yet. And then Tran Lanry, I could have help, but Tran Lanry is an undergrounder and is largely responsible for all the quarried stone. So I'd rather have Tran Lanry continue doing that. Okay, I probably queued up far too many, uh, far too much wood to be chopped, so let's fix that. Another project we might want to do, and I've been meaning to break this place down, is to have more of like a sewer public works. Um, and the reason is, of course, as our population grows, the amount of fecal matter that we have to deal with grows with it. And uh, our, our current septic tanks aren't really keeping up to the task. And as we add guests, it's only going to get worse, to be honest. It's certainly not going to get any better. So it's definitely a, a project in the back of my mind to manage. Delpierre, I do believe that I made you on latrine duty. Let's have you keep doing that. Fill up those biosolids. Hey, Google Tentacles. Thank you for the resub. Welcome. And good luck in the raffles. We've had a lot of new members, so hopefully there will be uh, raffles for the new sub. If only I could hook up the sewers to straight into the processing, that'd be nice. Just skip the whole phase of like hauling over and over and over. Cheers, by the way. How close are we now? 26? Yeah, okay, we're fine. I don't need a micromanager.
So green is almost ready to be converted. Uh, 19 hours on the conversion ritual. Tokus is holding out a little bit more uh, just because the uncertainty loss is lower. Global cer certainty loss factor for asceticism and, and apostasy uh, makes converting Tokus hard. Whereas green is a wimp and he's just like, oh, don't hurt me. I'll convert. I'm surprised that wimps even hold out more than like a week. We might want to go do some group hunting. Um, it is heading into the... Well, it's not winter yet, but it is getting colder soon. Which makes it easy to keep meat. Where's the prison? Here it is. I think things are running pretty smoothly. Oh, cold snap. Um... So if there was ever a time to do some group hunting, it would be like right now. It's nighttime. I'll, I'll wait till the morning. But a uh, cold snap heading into the winter, it's probably going to be cold enough to... Um... To do mass hunting and then freeze all the meat and not really have to worry about spoilage. It also means that these... Uh... Prisoners here are going to get mightily cold unless uh, Scala or Doris actually build the plumbing for it. So I'm having her wake up in the middle of the night and uh, attend to that. Because it's going to get real cold. Man, who's the buffalo that needs to go potty outside? He's blocking up the pipes. So once I have a dining room, I'm probably going to maybe... I might leave these tables out here, but I'm definitely going to need additional tables in the triclinium. Is that... Pl I do probably don't have plumbing all the way down there, do I? I do. So there's enough heating capacity, it's just not keeping up with the ambient temperature. So it's not warm in there, but it is warmer than ambient. I just want to avoid them getting frostbite. I, being super comfortable is like not my concern. Uh, Nabla has very little certainty left. So I might want to use the conversion ritual on Tokus just to speed them both up. And checking in on Elba. Oh, here's the last one. I caught it right at the end. All right. Uh, I am headed out to turn this into Calicia. Calicia is, we've already been there and they haven't had their restocks. Um, which means that there's really not going to be any slaves to buy. We are, I already know that. So I'll send... Actually, I don't need to send Sippy out. Because I'm not really doing any trade. I'm just fulfilling a trade request. Which means I can send someone like Ray. Because it doesn't really... Their uh, social capability doesn't really matter. And this is a pretty good... Pretty good trip for someone like Ray. So Ray will go out. And let's bring the Trevor. So it needs to be... Normal plus. So we have 16, 27, 31. Right? And it was a request for 31? I made up to 33, 
but it was a request for 31. I'm also gonna bring some of the, uh, some of the stuff we don't need, some of the tattered stuff, uh, just to dump. So I'm bringing the Thrumblehorns to dump. Um... Slave Collar to dump. Poor wreath. Poor clothing, poor pants. Things that we just don't need to hold on to. It doesn't have enough value to bother. All right, that looks good. Bring some kibble. Um, bring all the ruined gourmet. If you want to eat ruined gourmet feel food while we do your trip, that's fine. And a better roll. Cool. Yeah. So just to reconfirm, it is thirty-one travelware. Yep. I just made up to 33, but I'm going to get rid of this. I made up to 33 because I know that the slaves that we have wear them. So I know I needed more than 31 so that a slave couldn't just like throw one on and um, ruin the trade request. Oh, free bison. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 13th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Lycan.